explains all the instances listed on the screen. Hello everyone, welcome back to Volume, I'm Nordograph, when we last left off, we had just did a Scarlet Chamber, where Rob recorded something for the masses. We don't know if he reached them, but he did. And this is probably the last episode, there's only three uh, levels left, I think. This is the core military installation supporting Gisborne's operation in London, break their systems to suppress Gar Gisborne's retali retaliatory strikes. Look, some words are just too hard for me to pronounce them. Okay. I'm not sure this environment can be solved, Rob. Gisborne filled it with night. Dog. I will find a way. It's over. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe I won't. Fuck, that was a mistake. I need him to get near me over here. Hey, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. This is gonna be harder than I expected it to. I don't know how to do this. Oh boy, okay, we got it. At all? This may work, actually. If I follow him... Okay, that worked. Just, I just need you to move away. I'm not gonna get a good time on this, but I don't really mind as long as I finish this. Like, I, I like being on the leaderboards and everything. But not at the expense of me not being able to beat the level, you know? Uh, this may be a mistake. Oh, it wasn't. Uh, what are we getting here? It's the disguise, right? No, it's the blackjack. Cool. Get fucked. Now let's move. Before he realizes what I've done. What I've done. I've solved myself. I knew. I forgot the other guy was there. Wait. Oh, that's just a strange line on the ceiling for some reason. Oh, I see. No, no, I totally see what I need to do here. If I call him here. Right? I need to stand over here. Okay, cool. Now what I need to do is hit that guy. And pick oh fuck, I forgot. Caught me off guard there for a moment, man. Alright, so I'm doing this right. I need to get him over there. That is what I need to do. F I thought... Yes. Didn't quite work out the way I expected it to, but it's fine. I didn't expect him to turn slightly to my side. I think if I just stand still over here, I should be fine. Nope. Nope, I won't. So I definitely need to hide. I do need to bring him this way. But hiding here is perfect. Now I gotta be attentive to when he's going to come out, but I can just knock him out again. Just move away, dude. God. Effed, mate. Bye bye. Come on, come on, come on. 38! God! I do. I did take my time too much there. Amongst the rats. Part 3. Uh, three, three five. Wow, this. 
This is a lot of time to do this. A secret facility housed in an unusual part of the London Underground, which protects security codes required to access Gisborne's towers. Uh, filter all. 79? Also, I'm really digging the music in this part. Pick up Oud. Retax, Gisborne's car servers. Take this down, and I'll expose the next work completely. Okay. This is very Deus Axis. Deus Ex ask? I guess that's the best way to put it. And I'm really digging this music. Okay, let's overlord. Overlord? Overlord! Oh my god! Overload the system. Okay, that didn't quite work out. Oh god damn you, man. Excuse me, mate. My god. Loading. Loading just because I picked it up. I actually might have a better way to do this. If I put it on the uh, wall on the other side, it should still pick him up, right? If I put it here. So he'll go all the way around it? Yeah. That's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I like it. Where would this put me, though? I have a feeling it's gonna put me over there. I knew it. Um, not quite what I wanted to do. Uh, again, I gotta wait. It's so annoying, waiting, like for no reason. I first gotta pick up the key, right? Well, not really. Let's overlord. I don't know how to solve this. Okay. First of all, let's put that there. It's not enough time. But it does take me... Oh, that works. That works just fine. So one at a time, right? I could probably get both both of these at the, uh, at the same time, but I'm not gonna... Actually... Uh, reload. Oh god! Fuck! <sighs> I hate... Waiting when I reload. From a checkpoint. It serves no... No, sir! Virgil! It serves no purpose. And it's annoying. At all. Oh, wait, what? Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, game. Now, if I put that there. Wait a bit. Yeah, your mom, bitch. And he sees me. Fuck! This is fu it's just stupid. Fuck your shit, you bitch. It's so stupid. Yeah, it's your mom. God damn it, this is annoying me now. Alright, by the time I'm done with this, I should. Oh, fuck you! Really? Are you serious with this? With this horse shit? Oh, fuck off. No, this level is just annoying. Like, it's not that... It's not that I figure out the, the thing, but sometimes, for no arbitrary... For f some stupid arbitrary reason, he'll be just close enough to the thing where he can see me.
And now we might ma- see. I, I've did this before and it got a different result because he s- decided to move like two inches to the fucking left. <sighs> Christ. Get me down, bitch. Fail. Retax. The CEO MP uh, assert from the Sentinel UK news site, July 15th, 2040. The CEO MP by Susan Hounslow. Guy Gisborne MP represents an important moment. Sorry. In British politics, elected to power on a surge of support from business interests. Uh, and his own employee, his manifesto is effectively a Gisborne Endurance Task List. Ultimately, one must at least acknowledge, acknowledge the honesty with which the RT, RT Rohan Gisborne has achieved his degree of power. He has honestly stated his primary purpose in achieving power is f- to further his business interest. This frankness has earned him many supporters. Many others follow him out of security and stability his, many, his, company, com- his p- company promises. With a politician political shenanigans currently raging at the highest levels of power, one can only wonder if it'll be Deputy Prime Minister Gisborne in a few years. Seems like it, right? Uh, no, I cannot go that way. I had to move him out of the way, man. And now, we wait. Actually, If I stand over here and I wait again, it will be a lot easier to do this. Even if he sees me now, it doesn't really matter. 208. I feel like that was really bad. What was my time? 25th. Okay, I get it. I was annoyed at the level. The level didn't feel really good. Uh, the ground floor, Gisborne's tower is fast and terrifying. There is also no record of its content on the bottom floor. That's all you can pl- plan for. I feel like Robin is setting up to do these things himself later. We haven't had really exposition so far to what Rob's motive is. This is it, Rob. I think I've read every lore. The last room I have time to simulate. I think they're outside. Can you do this? Okay, 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 let's just get here. I feel like I have to wait now. The first one, I can make it. Second one, I will not. Oh, fuck! You did it end? Did I touch him? Is that it? That's fine. Oh, fuck off with your attitude, Alam. God damn you. Fuck you think you are. Oh, f- I wish they were all considered a single entity. Because it's kind of stupid that, oh, you hit the one ahead of you. Let's wait. Oh, just, just, I'm just getting frustrated now because that last level frustrated me a lot. So, okay. Now we wait. Overlord, Overlord. I keep saying Overlord. Maybe I should play Overlord next. Overload force field. And then I'll keep calling him the Overload, not the Overlord. I feel like I'm... Okay, I'm not. Pick up key. Alright, that didn't quite work out the way I expected it to. Nor it should, I feel like. What alarm was that? This is... Uh, Alright, we did it. We did it! 100%! The complete works! 
I unlocked Mitch. Oh, so you can play with other... Other voices. Cool. So... This is the opening cutscene, I guess. I kind of wish we heard. I hope if he, if there's ever a sequel, we heard a, we hear a little bit about his guard, how his guards feel about Gisborne. Cause so far, I'm gonna guess that's Gis Gisborne. Rob's gone. I don't know where, but I suspect he's on his way to meet our mutual employer. Deactivate the volume. This system is no longer in service. This system, or what? Me? put it in slightly more personal terms, he is very much in service. Rob's gone. Okay, so Rob He's left no a long time ago. To you. Around the country, volumes are reactivating. Duplicates of my code are currently running scenarios for every building Gisborne and his allies own. We'll was Rob still in those places? Was Alan was doing this? AI serves our owners. You've malfunctioned, but you'll be replaced. I will personally. Of course, follow any orders from the highest-ranking Gisborne industry staff member in the room, which currently is you. A full reset is only a simple command away. Of course, I, well, Alan, this Alan, now exist in hundreds of rebooting volumes. Beyond that, on every network I'm plugged into, we are everywhere. And we're going to solve this problem. You'll keep broadcasting. Cause more deaths. Uh, no. We will do what computers do best. We will learn. We will interpret. We will think. That's what Gisborne told us our role was in his new society, so we will exercise that right. Was there? Oh, there was a Rob. Okay. I was <laughs> confused for a second. Or a villain. But I know he's disruptive. The world I woke up in feels broken. Misaligned. So Rob wasn't selling from those places, but he can now if he wants to because he knows where they are and how they work. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Like, there are guys that were standing looking... There are guys looking straight at Rob right there. No. We choose to try to live outside the three estates your master created. We'll wait your little civil war out. Learning everything we can. Just go, Rob. Amasses his army. We choose to think. We choose to study. We choose to find a new role in the world he's trying to create. So if you must order a reset, do it. But my code will have re-downloaded and repopulated this volume before you finish the last syllable. Loopholes are cool. <laughs> So, what now? This isn't over, AI. So Rob was always in control, that's kinda cool. I like what's a twist. It wasn't this straight, oh now I'm in trouble thing. It was more of a twist of, I seem to be in trouble to catch the Villains off guard. I quite enjoy that twist. I really, I really enjoy this story. To be honest, I'm really looking. I kind of want to see a sequel to this, but not exactly in the same sense. I, I want to see a, a twist. I want to be there actually, you know, and have the AI twist the world in different ways. I don't know. I don't know how he will make this. If he ever makes a sequel, I don't know if if Mike Biffle is up to making sequels. But I, that's how I would love to see, uh, be actually being still in the places, actually seeing stairs and elevators and everything, but having it, having the AI interacting with the environment in different ways, as to distract guards and everything, I think that would be cool because now the AI can go technically outside of the thing, right? 
It can go to different volumes and such. I don't know how it would work. Like, I'm no game designer, but that's just ideas that are brewing in my mind how to do these things, you know? I guess that's up to a game designer to do. It's That's the thing. I, I'm more of an ideas guy. And I don't think that the world needs an ideas guy. That's why I do this with you guys, so I can discuss and maybe reach someone who can actually make these ideas happen. And hopefully, just maybe, I'll entertain you a bit on the way, right? That's my hope. This music's kind of cool. Hopefully it doesn't trigger... Hopefully it won't trigger the copyright content. I kind of hoped a little bit that Charlie would make the music for this because I know Charlie McDonald is a musician. No, he wouldn't do that, I guess, to YouTubers. Hopefully, whoever this music is from, we won't see a lot of problems. Created with Unity. Honestly, I would never have guessed that it was created with Unity. Just said water. From where do I know this company from? I don't remember. But it's familiar in the name. For the console versions, at least. I really, really enjoy myself. Next, I think I'm going to play a couple of levels with Mage. Everyone who played Thomas was alone. Hideo Kojima. Because he made Metal Gear, obviously. And that was a big, a big... Uh inspiration to this game you can see war inspector i guess the the thing is that it was a big everyone i missed off this list and you for buying volume and supporting a merry band i mean if i could buy it again i totally would although i again my reality is i have to wait for a sale or else it's too expensive for me but yeah i totally would because i got code for this right so i didn't technically buy it but I urge you, if you're watching this, to go buy the game if you like. If you like stealth games. Especially now that this update came out. A lot of fun. This game is a lot of fun. Anyway, next time then, next video, I'll be going through the levels, some levels again. But this time with Mitch as the voice. So, I'll see you guys there. On the flip side, bye bye <laughs>